38 special and a wood penetration test. I've had a lot of requests over the years to kind of test 38 special and wood penetration. And today I'm going to use my Smith & Wesson J-Frame 38 special because that's pretty pretty common for a carry 38 special. And I have five 2x4s here, so we have a lot of wood. I know we're going to stop all of these bullets in this wood here. And what I have is a various amount of 38 special rounds. We've got the critical defense. we got the silver tip, 110 grain. These are both standard pressure, by the way. This is a plus P Hydroshock, 129 grain. We have another standard pressure. It is an Underwood Extreme Defender, solid copper, so that might do pretty well. Another standard pressure, a Gold Dot. It's got the short barrel bullet. Then we have a really powerful hard cast round. I'm throwing that in the mix because, you know, this will probably get a lot of penetration. It has a lot of energy. We got some lead round nose. Got some plated wad cutters. And for a reference, I'm going to use a 9mm cartridge. It's a 124 grain plus P fired through a 4 inch barrel just to kind of get a baseline of what good wood penetration would be um, because that's always kind of the standard. So let's get started with the test and see how a little 38 special snub nose compares to that 9mm. Those various rounds of ammunition and just see how they all compare to each other. So let's get started with the test. All right, first up is that gold dot 9mm just to kind of get a baseline for what to expect with 38 special. I just want to see if it went through. It did not, so we will have a good a good comparison between the 38 Special and the 9mm. So let's start shooting those 38s. And first up, we have the Winchester Silver Tip. i try to make good shots on these. I have all the knots marked out so I don't hit knots all the way through these boards. So, all right, Winchester Silver Tip. Looks like it went through and kind of went down a little bit, so I'm going to shoot another silver tip just to make sure I have one caught. All right, silver tip again. Should be in there. Next, we have a plated wide cutter. These were loaded kind of middle of the road, not too hot, uh, not too low. All right, next up we have the Hornady Critical Defense Standard Pressure Round. Next up's the Hydroshock 129 plus P. Next up's the Gold Dot Standard Pressure. Next up's the Underwood Extreme Defender. Next up, we're going to do the lead round nose, 158. All right, and then the last one is the extreme underwood, not the extreme, the underwood hard cast. I'm going to use the, the Taurus here just because it is pretty high in recoil. So I'm going to use this. And I may have hit a knot there. Because I hit the mark where it says um, that there's a knot. So I'm going to give it one more shot just to make sure we have a good a good hit with a bullet not hitting a knot. Just to be double sure here. All right, that should do it. Let's open this thing up and take a look. All right, I made sure to check the, the back and to check the top and bottom and make sure that we did not have any pass-throughs or any bullets coming out. I did not see any. So first board for reference here, if I can get it apart, that almost seems like that's a sign something stuck between the first and the second, which wouldn't necessarily surprise me. So here we are. It appears that everything went through without hitting any knots or anything like that. And we do see some bullets already. So for reference, I'm going to hold this up just to kind of see where we're at. This is board two here. And I already caught the Federal Hydroshock. It did not hit a knot or anything like that. And it caught the Federal Hydroshock, which is really surprising. That is my carry round in that particular snub because I felt like it had a lot of energy and it expanded really well. And in the water jug testing, it penetrated really well. But in wood testing, we're seeing that that Hydroshock... It's not penetrating very far into woods. Now out the back here, 
and we caught several bullets at least two or three here out the back of, uh, of board two and what we have here we're catching the the winchester silver tip out the back of board two here's board three uh, so back of board two we're impacting board three really significantly with the winchester silver tip and it doesn't surprise me because it is a pretty soft lead now what we also see here out the back of two gold dot standard pressure we caught that bullet doesn't appear to have much um, deformation just a little bit here and then we also caught the 158 grain lead round nose that doesn't really surprise me too much either so uh, I'll see if I can pry some of these out really quick. So I wasn't able to get the lead round those out. It's sticking through right here. It's so soft it just kind of, I don't know, molded itself there. But gold dot standard pressure, here's that, clogged with wood. And here is the Winchester silver tip. And they went about the same. Silver tip and the gold dot went about the same penetration. So back of board two here. Now here's board three, and of course the 9mm is going to keep going through, I absolutely knew that would happen. Um, but here is board three, we have an impact from that silver tip, and the 9mm went through. Both of those underwood hard casts went through, and the lead round nose actually made a really big dent. So the lead round nose actually did better than the critical defense in the wad cutter because we can see right here it must have stopped in the back of two or in board two here so so this is board three so what we don't have is the critical defense and the wad cutter so they stopped in two and we don't have we have a little bit of mark from the lead round nose we do not have much of an impact here from the extreme defender. So that extreme defender right here. So extreme defender as well stopped in board two there. So it looks like the only thing that's gonna keep going through is going to be the nine millimeter and the the underwood plus P hard cast. So they went through board four, impacted board five here. One of them stopped completely in four of the hard cast, and the other one almost made it through and left a really big dent in board five. But what we're seeing here is the nine millimeter stopped in four because there's no impact out the back of four here. So the nine millimeter gold dot plus P stopped in four. One of the hard cast Keith style underwood hard cast stopped in four as well with no mark. But the winner here. It's going to be this this hard cast 38 special actually penetrated significantly further than the nine millimeter because it's coming out you know over a half an inch out the back impacting the very last board board five so here's board five the only impact on five is this hard cast so through a two inch barrel that 38 special plus p hard cast beat that that uh, plus p nine millimeter gold dot which is pretty impressive um, I kind of expected they would be similar. However, even in the snubby, uh, this particular 38 Special has, well, I think it had similar, actually, similar energy to that, that um, 9 millimeter. I think we had about 415 foot-pounds. That's where the 9 millimeters around a 400 even. But that momentum just kind of, in that hard cast that's not deforming as much kind of lent itself to going through a little bit farther. So, hey... 38 Special not penetrating very far? Well, we see that with, with a lot of the traditional rounds. They're going to penetrate a lot less than 9mm for sure, which a lot of people actually want that for a home defense scenario. And this is kind of why th this is a good medium. This is this is not necessarily a quote-unquote hard barrier like steel would be, but it's kind of what you might see in a home. So I think 38 Special would make an excellent home defense round. Well, except for this, you don't want to use that. Um, better than 9mm, but 9mm overall is going to penetrate stuff like this a little bit better. So that's what you get today. And the 38 Special snub nose, wood penetration test. So as always, comment, share, and like. And thanks for watching.